Good morning, or good afternoon. I guess that depends on when you're watching. I'm Sandy from, uh, of, I should say, um, Lolly and Sand, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today, well, being Tuesday, I have a draw. We do that, I do that on Tuesdays. Uh, I am going to make a slight change, so make sure you listen. We change, just a we change to the program. <clears throat> Pardon me. You know that morning frog again? Yeah, I got it. There was frost on the car this morning. Like, front and back windows. It's like, yipes. <laughs> that was kind of cold. All right, so this is the set we're going to be using today. Perennial birthday. And honestly, I had not inked it up. I, these are the only stamps I've taken out so far, and I'm using those today. But yeah, I hadn't, I hadn't used them at all. And they're really pretty because because the sentiments are are lovely today blooms just for you that we're using that today the flower what else these little sprigs one two three four two, two, three. oh yeah and of course for the inside here celebrating to you because it's your birthday right this is really cute font you know it's not scripty and it's kind of handwritten looking which i rather like and then different font here again. And then this. wee ha! So when I do my video on Friday, we're going to step it up a little bit. So today's card is really a, a quick and easy. Quick and easy. So let's set that aside. And move on to the draw. Okay. So previously, or I should say as last week and weeks and months prior to this, the way to get into my draw was to... Um, I would do a weekly draw and it would be for orders where you get two, um, two ballots. Now, whether that be online or if you send your order to me, they, they both count no difference. And the other is sharing my video. So what I'm going to do, and it was, it, they were small, um, gifts. So what I'm going to do is switch to a monthly. So it gives you a whole month to share and order so there's no pressure going oh I have to order this week but I'm not ready to order this week I will give you the entire month so I'm actually starting November today it's cold enough it feels like it except there's no snow knock on wood there's no snow and uh, at the end of the month I will draw from all the names and again same thing you can share from YouTube you can place an order get two ballots or uh, you can share from uh, you can share right here from uh, from my Facebook. Now, it's whether it's my page or my group makes no difference. You can share from either. All right, so let's mix them up and get a name. Here we go. Oops, I got two. Here we go. And our winner is Francine. I met Francine at a, an event uh, last Saturday. No, two Saturdays ago. And uh, super nice lady. Super nice lady. So congratulations, Francine. You will be getting um, a prize. Prize patrol. Yay. All right. So what's next? Well, let's bring in the card. Ooh. Again, this is my quick and easy. Now, this did require a big shot, but there's ways around it. Uh, there's different um, punches you can use and get the same effect. They'll just be a little bit smaller. And I did a tone on tone, which I'd rather like. This card is actually, it looks like I'm looking at the video and going, wow, is that ever bright? So if I turn it away from the really bright light, maybe, this is Night of Navy. Just a super color. Doesn't, it, it lends itself to masculine or feminine. It really doesn't matter. And then you can see our Today Blooms for You and some other goodies. Let's set that. Let's set that where I can see it so I can remind myself what it looks like. Okay, a little bit of paper to protect the work surface. And the goodies. Now you would have to know me. You know me. I have already um, put these through the die. So there's a couple different ways you can do this, which is you can have your piece of paper and stamp onto it and then choose the spot using your punch or your dies. So this is from the layering. These are both actually from the layering uh, circles. I almost said ovals. They don't look like ovals, do they? 
or what I'm going to do is just stamp right here. But you'll get the idea of how it looks. So let's get our ink pads. I have chosen Granny Apple Green and Blueberry Bushel. Now you might be saying, Sandy, clearly you said that was Night and Navy. And I did. And I did. But, you know, sometimes it's okay to break the rules. And it was kind of that moment where I went, why can't I do it that way? Is there any rule that says I can't? Well, no. So I'm going to. All right. So you can see these are the newer ink pads because you can see I've put the, uh, the little color indicator there. It says blueberry bushel here. This isn't one where I've done all the sides. As a reminder, grainy apple green. Uh, I think that's Japanese. Um, German. So that would make this one French. Yep. And then here. And that's for classes. It's not so much for me. I pretty well, I, I pretty well. Well, okay, I do. Sometimes it happens when you accidentally dip into the wrong one. It happens to the best of us. Let's get stamping. So this is the, I, I really like this because not only does it have the flower, it's got the leaves and then these little berries. I'm not sure what they're called. You know? Now, I may have said this before, when you're, um, now you see I went a little heavy, by the way, right there. So I'm going to try not to get a halo, which means I'm not going to press down super duper hard. A um, little bit more, a little bit more. All right. So I know, well, you know what? One, I want one to be almost completely on the page. So I'll start with that one. No halo. Yay. Oh, yeah, we were talking about rule breaking. Yeah. I don't I don't see I don't see an issue with just changing up the rules just a little bit. I really don't. Alrighty, next, the little greenery. You can see how quickly this comes together. It's it's really super simple. I'm just deciding exactly where I'm going to put these leaves. And now the sentiment will be a little smaller than this. So it's like, okay, I know I want that to show. So I think I would probably like a little bit of greenery over here. Now this is on a really small block. So what you want to do is not this. Oh, of course it worked. There, that. <laughs> of course it worked. <laughs> don't, don't not work. And um, because, it, because of the really small block, it's like you need to... Just press down, get good coverage. That's all, no biggie. I do like the small blocks though, because I do say, use the correct block. Use the size that is required to get the uh, image to show. Notice I've done three and three, not by accident. That is the way I do it. You know what, I'm gonna be a good stamp keeper and clean these right away right away. Hey, if you're out there watching, say hello. Hello. And and if you're on YouTube, feel free to comment because I do reply. Almost clean. I kind of dug in just a little bit too much. Sometimes you don't know your own strength, you know? It happens. Ah, there we go. Let's set that aside. Good morning, Susan. Was it, I bet you had a cold morning too. Unless you're sending us some warmer weather from out west. That would be nice. If you have snow, don't send it. Not interested. Not right now. Oh, I don't want to put the stamp sets too far because I want to use them again. Okay, so that's the front piece. And decide where everything's going to go. And then this, I think I have the right size paper. Yeah, I do. Okay. I'd originally done this using uh, Memento. And it just didn't go with the card. So, you knew. So, here we go. I did rock and roll a bit. There's a reason for that. It's a really small word. <laughs> I wanted to make sure I got everything on there. But, now, and I did this yesterday. I'll show you. I like, to, I like to show you my mistakes. You know, there's a reason for that. So, this was me yesterday. Okay, oh, I have to get everything. I hope this works. No, well, that's a halo. But I pressed so hard 
don't know my own strength. I pressed so hard that the words kind of went blobby. Okay, so another thing. So if you do that, clean your stamp, clean it. See, no transfer, tap, 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 and do it again. It works out so much better when you, you know, just work with the stamp, not against it. Don't work against it. I might need that again. And scissors, I know. Did I use, I did, I think I used shimmer paper. Oops, that's probably what I had. Uh, oh, okay, we have sunshine too, which is lovely. However, holy mackerel, that was cold. I actually had my heavy winter coat on this morning. Well, mostly because I'd just woken up and, and uh, Pippin wants out, like, now. Aaron can take the, uh, my daughter, can take the, the little pup out, but, you know, still being a little wobbly on her, on her air boot, and because you can't put any, any weight on it, and, huh, this is a run-on sentence, and because um, Pippin will drag her down, I, I'm still taking him out. Oh, don't get too close. I actually did this several times yesterday. I want, I didn't use my cutter because I want the edge to be uneven. That's kind of what I like the, I like the flow of that. Let's see if I'm going to be happy with that. Oh, I think I am. But I really wanted that one to be to the top. So I might go something like that. Something like that. So let's set that aside for now. And let's just close this up momentarily. Momentarily. Oh, you know what? In one week, one week from today, and I'm, I'm already getting like excited and nervous. One week from today, um, I'll be in Orlando on the Stampin' Up! Conference, conference having a lovely time. Just have to get there. <laughs> Can't walk. Too long of a drive. So yeah, choice number three. Well, I guess there was bus. I don't think there's a train. There's other ways, but yeah, I'm uh, going to, you know, fly in an airplane. We've had this talk before. I know, get over it. <laughs> Okay, so this is the gold foil paper, and if it's blinding you, you'll know why. It's really shiny, and it makes a really pretty, even if it's just a little bit, it makes a really pretty little background. Like so. I know, I, you know what I was just thinking? I did not use the liquid multi-purpose glue. Oh yeah, you know what? I do need that. I do need that stamp set still, because I wasn't done. Huh. And, and I'm gonna need to bring in my paper again. Because I probably, am I going off the page? I don't know yet, we'll find out. And again, this is Night of Navy looking extremely bright, probably because of the, the amount of um, lighting I use, but it's, it's really a nice deep dark blue, really pretty. I think it looks pretty regardless. It just looks really bright. So as I did in the finished card, I'm going to stamp color on color, although again, this is the Night of Navy, this is Blueberry Bushel. And it's kind of cool because it shows up in a most interesting way. I'll show you once I've stamped all these because I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, I'm actually leaning in to see if you can actually see that. Um, I'm not sure if you can see that or not. Now, my aim here, a bunch of it's going to be covered up but it's to look like they're cascading, like they're falling. Because we like that. Hmm? We do. And then, oh, this one's gonna go off the page a bit. So that's four, and I really do want my fifth. So, and I believe, yes, it's gonna be that way. I'm hoping those little circly dudes show up. All right, I think I need this one more time. You know what? I'll just set that aside. You know what? I'll just set it aside. All right, so that's the front of the card so far. Super easy. And it's something that you definitely, definitely can do on pretty well every color, except black. It doesn't really show. So bone folder that don't put in your ink pad, just to make that lay flatter. Do you see the difference there of how it was sitting up? It's gonna, it's gonna a little bit, but it was like too much for me. Next. I used 
I, I was trying to think of a color like what color would look would look nice um, across the card so I tried granny apple green which I love and I decided to use the same color as the base and that made sense to me so I'm gonna put it about there not gluing it on yet because my nemesis I love this the gold thread <laughs> however we um, it kind of drives me crazy but I love it oh I should show you which embossing folder I used now there's actually two that you get with this these are called the um, oh rats what are they called oh petal pair petal pair so is this one and another one which I would have dug out but I wasn't quite on time this morning to uh, get that out but it is in the catalog um, under embossing fold in the embossing folders near the back so you get this one and then a, another skinny strip like this similar to that all right so here we go I knew it was nearby so I don't know if you can see that texture but that was the other thing I also tried a few different embossing folders but given that you're only seeing a little bit I wanted like major major um, embossing and I, I think that does it I think it does so flip her over and the other side's just as pretty with the deboss side but I'm going to use the the raised side isn't normally how I do this but I'll show you what I'm doing I'm going to here we go here we go with the, the thread you will love this too I promise it's just for whatever reason I've I haven't used it enough so but the effect is really pretty. It's subtle and it's pretty. So when I started that, I used the uh, the snail and I caught the, uh, the thread right there and it's catching it on the other side. What I don't want is to pull it really tight and end up with something like, like that where it's curved. So I'm not pulling super tight. I do want to kind of go from side to side. There we go. Um, you know, rather than just straight across so I think yeah there it is I knew there was something there oh now I'm getting curved and one more let's say right there and scissors which I just had there they are so far so good and then you just trim it easy peasy the thing I have the problem with this is making the like the the coils Otherwise, like something like this is really simple. Now, as you saw, I put a little bit of snail on. Now it's time to use a lot more. So, and once you've embossed something, especially with that, like a heavy embossing folder like this, the paper becomes a little more pliable. So be nice to it. You don't want to break your paper. I don't think you will. And I didn't yesterday on the sample, so. The one thing with this is because it has so much um, embossing on it, as opposed to something like, say, the softly falling, where it's it's light and heavy, and depends on where you land on that. Alrighty, there. That should hold it in place. It's, um, you know, you just want ample to hold it in place. And once again, a little bit below center. I'm still looking at these, wanting to catch that. Here we go. Oh, oh, wait a second. Crooked. That's why we don't press down. Remember that trick I showed you earlier? I think that was last week. If you have something that, where you're going edge to edge, set it down flat. And it goes so much better. <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? All right, time to get out the dimensionals and pop this up. And how often do I use dimensionals when I'm making cards? All the time. Like this is like, I call this like a one layer card. This is just a teeny little step, so it's like a mini. But all the time, pop things up and your card will go from, mm, it's pretty, to wow. Seriously. Seriously, seriously. Okay, now I'm going to bring this back in because I want to make sure I'm doing this exactly where I want it to be. Right about there. 
I want to see the greenery. I want to see this one in particular. Flower. I don't know if it's a specific flower, or if it's just, or if it's to look like a specific flower or not, but I like it. I like it. All right. And then mini dimensional time. Yeah, I'm popping it up twice. And this is a skinny piece. So four. For the length of that sentiment, four is what I want for sure. I just wonder if I shouldn't go off. Yeah, I think that's what I should have done yesterday when I made the card. The sample card. There we go. We will get to the inside of the card momentarily. Just want to, yeah, off just a little bit. I think so. Yep. I would like to get it straight because I think yesterday's was just the teeniest bit crooked. There. Popped up twice. And why not? And now, what da, 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 the inside of the card. This will be super simple. I do want to bring back the the um, grainy apple green and the blueberry bushel again and the sentiment and I just you know what would be really good to know is that I'm stamping it the right direction video interrupted really am I not am I not recording that's gonna drive me nuts when it does that oh maybe not maybe it's working see that was upside down totally let's do that again not upside down don't stamp upside down. Well, actually, I could on this. I just want to make sure it's straight, too. So, a little bit down on that side. Okay, that was weird, because the video did it again, where it said it was interrupted. I'm like, interrupting your dinner? What are we interrupting? It's a nice, nice, clean, clean-looking inside of the card. And I'm going to keep it that way, but just add a little bit more. Just a little, there they are. I, I, I just love those little circly dots, whatever they're called. Which way would I like to go? Hmm, every time different. Like so. I was just saying to myself, you didn't hold that down long enough, but I think I did. I think I did. Oh, did I miss telling you anything? Let's just check, nope, 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 oh. For anyone in the KW area, I do have a class on November 29th, and you can go to my blog, and I'll show you that in a moment. Um, yeah, I would like this to go right about there. Oh, wait, that's only two. I do need to do three. Hmm, there, there, maybe here. I don't really can, you know, I know that's, that's one, two, three, but it's not really, so I feel the necessity to do one more. Just check to see what direction I'm going. I like that. Don't overcomplicate things, right? I'm just keeping it simple. So all that's left to do with this card is put the inside in. Yep, got the right one. And I am going to use the glue so I have a little bit of wiggle time, the uh, multi-purpose liquid glue. There. Okay. Nice thin line and put the lid on. Nice thin line. The, um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. If you're not receiving my newsletter and you wanted to, and you want to receive my newsletter, because there should, there will be one coming out on November the 1st. I have to look at it this way. That looks even to me. Um, then, you're going to need to either message me here on Facebook, if you're on Facebook, if you're, if you're not, or if you want to go through the blog, it's lollyandsand.blogspot.com, and just, just contact me, um, which I think is up on the top right, and I will um, get you onto the list so you can read the newsletter and get updated on different goodies that are happening. So let's bring in the other card, too, because they're just ever so slightly different. Oh, I was just checking it out going, oh, that one's stamped, too, you know. Even though I had it beside me, it doesn't matter, you know. Anyway, if you choose to place an order before 
well, by tomorrow, the 31st, Halloween, can you believe it? I actually bought, um, I actually bought, um, Halloween candy yesterday, but I had my son put it away so I don't eat it. Because then, you know, you're just taking away from the seven kids that are going to arrive. And I only have 95 chocolate bars, you know. Anyway, that's it for today. That's our quick and easy perennial birthday card. And I will see you again on Friday at 10 a.m. Have a great week. Bye-bye.